Ciao. Oh my god. <laughs> Wowza. Do I look cute? What, do you get those pants? what pants? Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl Weeza, and welcome back to my world. And in today's video, we're going to get ready with me. So I thought it would be super fun today to try out some new makeup, talk about 2021, and what you can expect, any kind of goals that I have, just kind of chit chat, hang out, and just play with makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. And I want to start incorporating more videos like this into my channel this year. But we'll chat all about that during the actual get ready with me. If you're new here or just stopping by for the first time, hey, what's up? My name's Weeza and I do beauty and lifestyle videos here on my channel. Something really unique about me and my channel is that I have a scientific background and I use that background into some of my videos to help give you additional information about that product and ultimately help you make more informed decisions in the future. And if that seems like something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. As well, if you like these types of videos, get ready with me, chit chat, playing with makeup kind of videos, then don't forget to like this video as well so I know that you like them and I can continue you making them for you and with that being said let's just get right on with the video let's get ready with me I'm actually super excited because I got a couple new makeup items that I haven't even tried yet and I got some that I've been loving and I want to share with you guys because I just discovered them and they're just changing my world. I want to start with priming my face. I usually use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer but today I'm going to use these guys. These guys are so good and I've quickly started loving them. If you don't know what these are, it's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops and I literally wear these some days just plain with nothing else on my face and I just go on with my day. It gives you such a beautiful glow to the skin. You can use this as a primer, you can use this as a highlight, and this smells like all of their watermelon scented products. So I'm gonna use a little bit right now on my face. I usually do about two pumps and that's what she looks like. So she's like a pink serum. And I'm just gonna go on my face here and just spread it in. I honestly could have used maybe one pump, but you know. So you can see how it's giving me like a glow from within, a very dewy appearance, but still looks like skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Hint Hint Skin Tint Foundation. Keeping in mind, this is not a foundation, it's a skin tint. Not much full coverage is gonna be happening here. And I just apply it with the physical dropper and I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. So I hope you guys all had a great holidays, Christmas, New Year's. I honestly can't believe that it's already 2021. Like, I feel like 2020 didn't even happen. Like, we just skipped over that and it was like not even a real year. So I'm just blending out with my favorite brush of all time. Like, literally blend everything out with this. 2020 was bittersweet because obviously we're in a pandemic and life was crazy. I was supposed to travel and do a whole bunch of different things. That all got canceled. But in 2020, I was able to start with this world and start making YouTube videos, something that I've always wanted to do. And I think this whole situation really just helped push me and really kind of reflect on myself and be like, this is something that you've wanted to do your whole life. Like, just do it. Just do it. I have loved every part of my YouTube journey so far and I really feel like I grew. It was a year that I grew the most, took chances, took risks, pulled myself out of my comfort zone and honestly, scary as it sounds and scary as it may be, I wish I would have done it earlier and I'm really excited for 2021 and all of the things that we're gonna do, new things, trying out stuff. I'm fully in this year and I'm so, so excited about it. Gonna do a little concealer now. Get some concealer and I'm gonna do concealer like TikTok style. I've been watching a lot of TikTok and this is how TikTokers do their concealer. No triangles, anything like that, just a little bit here and up here just to like lift the eye. TikTok life. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. And it really just gives your eye, I forgot to put a little bit on my eyelid. I'm gonna do a little shadow moment. I got some new eyeshadow palettes that I wanna share with you guys. And just setting everything with some Laura Mercier powder. I finally got my Chanel bronzer for Christmas. I was totally not expecting this because I didn't think that my family even knew where to buy this, first of all, but I got surprised and I was so excited to use it. I literally used it the same day and I was obsessed. And every time I've worn this, like the few times that I've worn this, I've got compliments on my skin and how beautiful my skin looks. And I think it's due to this because that's the only thing that I was really changing up. So I'm just gonna go with that and bronze up my face. And I heard that they only have one color now. And that's just, that's not cool by Chanel. And like, just because it works on my skin or like majority of skin tones, it doesn't work on most skin tones. So I think that Chanel needs to go back and reevaluate that situation because that's not nice. Don't like that. Let's talk about 2021 and what we can expect. I have a lot of cool things planned this year. I wanna start, like I said, doing more chit chat videos, getting to know me type videos, be more raw and more uncut with you guys. Because if you were to meet me a few years ago, I would have never 
told you about my life. I was a very closed off person, didn't tell many people about my life at all, even some of my best friends. I was a closed book. I've had like an epiphany, a revelation, if you want to call that, and began looking at life a little bit differently. And since I changed my mindset, I've I've had a beautiful life. And I wanna talk more about that in my journey and like all of that kind of stuff. I wanna share that with you guys. So that is what the bronzer looks like on the skin. It looks just so natural looking. Like my face looks completely different already. Like I love it, obsessed, shoulda got it years ago, regret my life decisions. Just to save us a little bit of time, I'm gonna go off and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. And just like that, brows are done. Let's just continue on with the complexion. I'm in like a complexion mood. Let's add a little bit of blush, some highlight, and then we'll go into the eyes. Blush next, I'm gonna use this cream blush by Fenty. And I'm just gonna use my finger today. I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm in a mood today. Um, so what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yes, 2021. I'm gonna definitely still be doing debunked videos. That was like the main premise of my channel. The reason why I started Weez's World, I wanted to help people, I wanted to help educate people. I wanted people to make more informed decisions because there is so much information out there that's fake or it's confusing if you don't have an understanding of the stuff that you're buying how are you buying it do you know if it actually works like some of these products are complete scams and complete gimmicks we need to be more mindful of all of the decisions that we're making so those videos are absolutely not going anywhere i love doing those videos they do take a long time to film but I love them. For highlight, I'm gonna dip into my Anastasia Amrezi highlight. This is a beautiful highlight. I actually forgot that I had it and I was like cleaning out my vanity and I refound it. So I was like, let's use her. I forgot what you look like. So that's what I'm gonna use today. Hopefully she's, I don't really remember what her finish is like. Oh yeah, she's good. <laughs> so I forgot how good she is. I, I remember when I first bought her, I didn't like her, but if you use it correctly, she looks good. Like look at my nose, look at that nose. I got this beautiful ColourPop Blush Crush palette. I don't know if you can see it. It has these beautiful like blushy pink tones in it. I've been living for these tones, so I need to use this. My best friend got this palette for me for Christmas and I need to try it. I haven't dipped into her yet, so let's dip into her. But before that, I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty bronzer, the powder one, and just darken up the crease a little bit. Nothing fancy, just literally darken it up the crease. Give us a little transition shade. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, cheek to cheek, and I'm gonna go into the crease with it. Now for 2021, I really wanna set a goal for myself to up my eyeshadow game and what that means is just experimenting more wearing eyeshadow on a daily basis playing with eyeshadow more because for my day-to-day -day, i'm not wearing eyeshadow like to work and whatnot not to say that i'm gonna go to work with like blue or green eyeshadow like that's a bit wild but i want to just be more adventurous and try more brands like i don't try many makeup palettes for many brands next i'm gonna go in with this beautiful shimmer shade called blossom up i really do enjoy doing my eyeshadow. Like I didn't really do it much when I was growing up. That's why I don't think that I'm super like passionate about it or got into it, but I'm really starting to like it now. I like the process. I like experimenting with new colors and whatnot. I'm only putting this on this half of my lid, by the way. I've just really put it as a goal for myself to get into more eyeshadows, trying new brands, being more adventurous with it and just like taking risks. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade pop a bottle and pack that into the inner part of my lid. So if you guys know of any eyeshadow palettes that I should try out right away, comment them down below because I really wanna start trying out different brands. Like I probably realistically don't need another nude or blush tone palette in my life, but I'm open to it, let me know. I've seen some of the Huda Beauty palettes. Those look really nice, but I've been a bit hesitant to try them for I don't know what reason. I've also seen a lot of Pat McGrath, but definitely a higher grade eyeshadow that I definitely want to try. Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, all of these are brands that I eventually want to try, but I don't really know where to start. Let me know which ones that you recommend so I can begin my trying, my experimentations, because you know, I love a good experiment. Lastly, I'm just going to go back into that Blossom Up shade and just run it down the outer part of my lid here on the bottom. First impressions, I really like it. Pigment was there. It blended in really nicely. No complaints. Lush Crush 
blush crush blush crush say that five times really fast so yes for 2021 i want to get more into eyeshadows and playing more with makeup trying new brands that i have never tried before high end and drugstore but i also want to do more things on my channel like clothing hauls i've had a lot of people ask me about where I get certain clothes because you follow me on Instagram and you like what I see. So I'm gonna start incorporating more clothing hauls, and just like life videos, like lifestyle haul videos of things that I bought. I wanna start doing more videos like that. So that's also something that you can expect from me. As of right now, I'm mostly wearing sweatpants Lululemons are my uniform. I was wearing them like before pandemic. Like I literally live in my leggings. I love them so much. And especially being home now, working from home, I'm wearing them a lot lately. I'm sure you guys all can relate. And also remember at the beginning of the pandemic when like having a tie dye jumpsuit was like all the rage. After that, like I've been living in sweatpants and having matching suits. So like black sweatpants, black hoodie. There's some really nice ones from Aritzia. I've also purchased some from Dynamite. Those have been really awesome for me and living in those as well. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this year we'll be able to go outside more and be able to do more things. And that means that I have to buy clothes, get ready with me, but like actual like dressing up to go outside because I'm optimistic that this year we'll be able to go outside. During this whole pandemic, I've been online shopping so much. It's really, really bad. It's like, what else can we do? Like, we have to online shop. This is this is what we do. We're almost done. We just got lips left. But the last thing I kind of want to chit chat with you guys about is just goals. Or I hate this so much, but New Year's resolutions. Like, what are your resolutions for 2021? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, I got some. So not only is it to grow with this world, this channel, and get subscribers. Like, I want to hit a thousand subscribers. I want to be eligible for monetization. If you don't know what that is, small YouTubers like myself aren't actually able to make profit off their YouTube channel without having certain credentials before. So you need to meet these certain credentials, and then that shows YouTube, hey, this person's serious, and they actually want to, like, use this as a platform and do good on it, so we should reward them. But I don't do YouTube for that. That's just a goal that I have. I think every YouTuber has that goal to reach that certain level get a thousand subscribers and get all of these other credentials done i celebrate literally every win if i gain 50 subscribers in a month i am so excited like that is so amazing that that many people are even interested in me and what i have to say i'll say it again and again i am just over the moon every time i gain a subscriber i'm like <laughs> Yes, we got another one in the fam. So that is one goal. I want to get to a thousand subscribers this year on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Stunna, Stunna lip paint in the shade Unbutton. It's this beautiful nude shade and the applicator is so cool and so unique. I've never seen an applicator like that, so I'm interested to give her a whirl. But for my own personal resolutions this year, I need to get back on track with my health and fitness goals. I was on a really good roll last year and then like pandemic hit and I just pretty much quit working out almost every day which is really annoying because I really loved it and then just life got in the way and then laziness and all that stuff so I've already started 2020 with pretty big bang and being consistent healthy eating not snacking so much it's really hard when you're home and you're not really doing anything uh so wow I wasn't expecting that much color to come off maybe I should have used a lip liner with this but uh too late now. I think this brush is good enough, actually. Maybe if I just stop talking. How do we like this color? It's a bit lighter than what I thought it was gonna turn out. Kind of like orangey, in a way. Not mad at it. I'm gonna let it dry down and then see where it goes from there. Also, for 2021, I really wanna get into writing down things more and planning better. I am the worst procrastinator ever like literally ever okay I blame post-secondary because I would always have so much schoolwork to do and then I wouldn't be able to have enough time to do it all so then I would wait till the last minute and do that for that particular class because it was due the next day and like procrastination she's my friend she she got me through a lot like I've done some of my best work procrastinating I'm trying to avoid that energy this year I want only good vibes good energy and I'm gonna try to plan my life better so I have time for everything and not be stressed out about it. It's a really bad habit. I want to work this year to try to improve it. It's by no means gonna just be fixed in one year. I know that, but I wanna be more accountable, start writing things down, doing all of that stuff to make myself better and less of a procrastinator. I also wanna be more organized, so getting my life together. I'm pretty organized, but I wanna be more organized. I just wanna have everything organized and my life planned and just like try to fit everything in in a non-stressful way. 
that's my goal. So I'm not really liking the way that this is looking right now. I don't know. Let me know. Is this nice? Do we like it? I'm going to put this on top. This is the Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in the shade She's Independent. And I'm just going to put this on top of the lips, give them like a little bit more of a gloss, a little bit darker. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Oh, it just feels so good on the lips. I really, really love this lip cream by Patrick Ta. We're just going to finish the look off with a little bit of setting spray, but that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to chit chat with you guys today about. So that is it. That is the look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really focused on dewy skin. Like look how dewy and glowy my skin is. All thanks to those glow recipe drops. Like literally they do the work for you. So 2021 is definitely going to be a year of a lot of experiments, a lot of trial and error, and I'm excited for it. And I'm really excited to begin elevating my eyeshadow game for 2021, trying out new brands that I've never tried before, trying out new shadows, new techniques, all of that stuff. And I'm going to be taking you guys along for the journey. So be ready and be on look out for that. I lastly just want to say happy new year to everybody and happy 2021. I hope you guys get everything you dreamed of this year and more. Let me know some of your goals or your new year's resolutions down in the comments below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya!